right. Thank you so much for tuning back into another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. We are Offset. Era. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. We are doing a little different video today. That's right. Um, as any of you may have watched the channel, know that one of my favorite bands is Maximum the Hormone. Yep. Uh, it's a funny story how I actually discovered Maximum the Hormone. It was actually from this video we're checking out today. So it's not so much a reaction from my port, my point of view, but it is definitely Sam's. Yeah, this will be my first time. I don't think you've heard the song either. No, I, have, I don't uh, think I've heard the song. I definitely haven't seen the video, so it'll yeah. definitely be me reacting to it. And yeah. it'll be more like you know, analyzing revisiting. and yeah, looking to, telling you what I love about it and everything yeah. about that. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, we're talking about. Uh, Akane Hirose. Yeah, she's covering the Benjo Sandal Dance. Yep. So, um, a little background on this song. Um, Benjo Sandals are traditional sandals that are usually worn in the bathroom. They're kind of like a bathroom sandal. Uh, the reason that this is coming up is because the guitar player from Maximum the Hormone is known for wearing these sandals everywhere instead mm. of just in the bathroom. Apparently, he got kind of picked on for it for a while. Uh, and was bullied about it, but he still wears these sandals. It's part of his like. It's part of his character. It's part of his character, his yeah. look. Yeah, that's you know that's cool. It's funny. He's you know it's it's an unusual, it's an unusual look. But it's if it's yeah. if he's being true to himself, then more power to him. Yep, that's that's cool. I love that he did this. So the song is called Benjo Sandal Dance. I mentioned that already. It's a drum cover by Akane. Uh, this. Honestly, I used to, I was I found Bandmade first. I I started listening to Bandmade a long a while, long time ago, and then I came across this cover. And it probably wasn't even the the first time I seen the cover, but I finally was like, the song in the background that she's playing to, who is this? And then I went and I started searching for it, and yeah, now I can't stop listening to Maximum and the Hormone. We're still huge fans of uh, Bandmade. Yes. But this was a suggestion that you guys wanted us to check out and do a reaction to. So we'll be doing some analysis. He'll be doing some reacting. The song is amazing. We're going to enjoy ourselves on this one. Yep. Hope you're buckled in for the ride here. We're going to take a look at some of these comments real quick. Well, yeah. this video introduced me to Maximum the Hormone, and now they're my favorite band. That's me. Yep, that's yep, you. That was my comment. He said that. <laughs> yes, him, he did. My, my comment is the last one on here. Actually, it's the top one. Yeah, well, maybe that's why. <laughs> so, who knows why. Uh, look, look how loose and fluid Akane is in her drumming. A work of art. A true, genuine musician. Yeah. Akane precision is absolutely absurd. I'm a drummer, a good drummer, and I think she has an atomic clock in the brain. Nice. Nice. I love Akane and Bandmade. I would like to thank her for introducing me to Maximum the Hormone. I'm not alone! I was just about to say, yeah, you're not alone! <laughs> I love the parts where she stops drumming and then waits to drum again. That's like a snake coiling up, getting ready to strike. Right. You can feel Akane's energy building. Right. I'm no drummer, but I realize Akane's drum setup is always pretty small and minimalistic compared to other drummers. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how she can do so much with such a small setup. That's a great, great comment, and it's a great sentiment, because I've seen so many drummers just have minimalistic kits and still just kill it. And it just, drums. it, it, that's when it becomes less about the instrument and more about who's playing it. You yeah, know, anyone can, like, any, if you're a good enough musician, you know, whether you're a guitar player or a drummer or a bass player, you can take a simple setup, you know, like, like a starter guitar, like a starter, like, like you could take a, a simple hundred dollar Squire guitar or a Squire bass, and you can make it sound good. Yeah. If you have, if you have the chops, and if you have, if you have it. You got the skills. If you got mad skills, you can make anything sound good. Right. I mean, I've, there's so many times I've picked up a, a guitar that like a kid was like, "This is a crappy guitar. I can't play it." And I like would play it, and they'd be like, "Whoa!" I'm like, yeah, you just got to try. You just got to yeah, work at it. Yeah. It's about knowing what you. It's not about. You know what the guitar. You know what kind of guitar it is. It's about you know if you know what you're doing. Exactly. And if you know what you're doing, you can make you can make it work. Yeah, you know? absolutely. All right. Uh, let's look at one more. The I'm... thing that always bugs me about watching these Akane covers is that it's not really like Akane's drumming if she doesn't use a dozen distinct patterns and over thirty fills over the course of the song. <laughs> But Neo is a great drummer from Maximum the Hormone. Uh, it's I, I've tried to play along with some of her songs, and they're not easy. The fact that she can hit this uh, note for note the way that she does in this video yeah. is impressive. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Sam, you're going to hear this song, I think, for the first time as well. I think so. Uh, so it's a great... It ha I'll, I'll tell you, I'll give you a little precursor. 
It's got a bass guitar intro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. And with that, I'm sold. <laughs> All right, I'm going to jump into this one. Yep, and whoever's jumping in, or in this case, who's jumping in with me into this pool for the very first time, welcome, get ready to swim. Yeah, welcome to the channel, glad to have you here. We do have a lot of Bandmade uh, reactions on our channel, so if you yep. like Bandmade, please go and check out our playlist. We love Bandmade. We do love Bandmade. We had a great time watching their new song, Shambles, last week. Yep. So if you haven't seen that reaction, go and check that out. And it go check amazing. out the song, too. The song is amazing. Yes. Such a good time watching that. Uh, but today we're checking this out, uh, but without, uh, well, you guys know what, what's next if you're not new to the channel. Yeah, right. You know what's next. It's you know what's next. You know what time it is. It's time for the glorious. Epic. Transition. Transition. Zoom. Boom. All right. Here we are. I'm always happy to watch this again with all of you. I'll try to chime in with what I think is cool about this. Sam will be reacting for the first time. Let's yep. get it. Banjo, stan uh, banjo. Yeah, banjo. <laughs> banjo, sandal dance. Maximum the hormone. Drum cover Drum by Akane. Drum cover Hidoso. by Akane. Here we go. Let's do it. She's great. The bass. Woo. So right away, yeah. look at her pattern on this. I mean, Nao is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like she's creative. Everything that she puts together is interesting. It fits the song. It has technicality to it. It's musical. Mm -hmm. But every, like the the fact that she hits this the way she does and this the way that she's dun -dun 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 following that bass guitar pattern, it's just amazing. She's such a good drummer. <laughs> And being able to get the kick at the same time. Yeah. You know, it occurs to me the reason that she did these was because when they first came out, they were accusing her of not being not really playing. Oh, really? So she came out with, and you guys will have to correct me on that because I think there was some kind of controversy when they first came out. Like that's not really her drumming. You can tell it's really her drumming because the camera is shaking. Yeah. You can see like when she hits the kick drum, the whole camera is like, brown, brown, brown. She's playing these drums, guys. I mean, there's no, I mean, sure, at this point, nobody doubts that. But at yeah. this point in time, I think people were like, she's not that good or she's not really playing that. Yes. Yes, she is. Yes. She's amazing. Yeah, she is amazing. This, this passage here really impresses me because of the off hat that she does during it and the, all the rolls in between. I really love it. Just 
that is difficult. I cannot do this part. The accents are dun 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 dun. So you gotta do. You gotta come down on one foot and you gotta raise the other foot. Yeah. Because when you're hitting when you're doing an accent on the hi hat, generally, especially if you're hitting it closed and then trying to do an accent with it open, you always do it with the kick drum. So and so the the and I don't know if they'll show it on or you can see it on her feet, but generally you come down on the kick drum and you open the hi hat. So she's going cat 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 cat. So all of those appendages are moving. Your both feet are moving and both hands are moving, and your your feet are actually moving in opposite directions. One's going up and one's going down. Is and then at the pace that she's doing it, it's all it's hard as. I love that song so much. That's a cool song. It's a great song. The bass playing is really cool on it. Of course, yeah. the drumming is great. Um, but let's go ahead and flip back over. Yep, get out of the corner. All right. Benjo Sandal, Sandal Dance. Dance. Drum cover by our favorite drummer. One of Akane our favorite drummers. Hirosa. Yes, Hirose. So, yes. What do you think about that? That was wild. It's great. Very tight drumming. Mm-hmm. And making great use of such a small kid. You yeah, know? absolutely. I think um, really showing just how how high of a caliber of a drummer she is. I think honestly, and, and she seeing her here, and any doubters that she had, I think she's long proven. Oh, right. absolutely. She's gotten way, way better. I think yeah. since then. This was like what ten years ago or something. This came out. Oh this, wow. This is five years ago. As it says here, but I, I remember watching this a long time ago. So yeah, she has come a long way since then. So she was good then. I'm not saying she wasn't, but now but the stuff she does now. You know, the more you do it, the more you get better at it. Oh so. my gosh! Um, but the song itself, I love banjo. The song is what hooked me on Maximum Hormone. I went and looked it up. I love the breaks. Hey, do 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 do. You know, when really it goes into the guitar part, it just yeah. got so many cool dynamics. And the parts where she just stopped drumming, and then came back in. And then of course the hi hat accents. Oh my god, that's hard. Nao is a great drummer. Akane is a great drummer. Yes. Apparently, Nao was the reason Akane started playing drums. So huh. that's the, so you wouldn't have an Akane without maximum the hormones. So, so yeah. So we gotta we gotta show love for both. Uh, but yeah, that was our reaction to her drum cover for Benjo's Handle Dance. That was a great suggestion. I hope you guys are okay with the fact that I was watching it for the second time. As you can see, I am a fan. <laughs> uh, I have a year ago pr a comment to prove that. On there. So if you guys go to this video and watch it, yep. you'll see my my comments sitting up there at the top. Yeah, there. It, and it was really cool, like digging it. You get a chance to dig into each individual musician, like you know mm -hmm. what they're actually doing. Right. You know, I, 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 if anyone at home wants uh, wants us to do more videos like this, where if it's whether it's a drum cover or a guitar cover or a bass mm -hmm. cover or even a vocal cover, right. Really getting a chance to dig into each individual musician and what they're right. doing. Right. You know, uh, I, I myself would be very much on board with doing that in the future. Well, I think we people say we've gotten comments that there has been some uh, band made, specifically band made songs where it's just one or the other, or one of them, and it just focuses on them the entire time. Yeah. If you guys want to see something like that, let us know. Uh, we'll be happy to check out. You know, whether it's Akane or whether it's Misa or whether it's uh, any of them, let us know. We'll be happy to look at those. Uh, but yeah. We are Offset Era, two-thirds of the band. 
We have our own original music. Yep. Uh, you'll be seeing our video for Watch It Burn pop up at the end of this video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Yep, that was a fun video. It's creeping up to 2,000 views yeah, in so... conjunction with us hitting 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> yes, those, thank you for that. You're by all the way. fantastic. Yeah, we we're so happy that we've hit 10,000. It was uh, It's a milestone for us. We've been doing this for a couple months now. Yep, and just going seeing... on. Yeah, September will be six months. Right. So seeing that kind of growth in six months is insane. Uh, so we're very grateful that you guys are all taking the time to, to check out our YouTube channel. I'm uh, looking forward to what the future will bring. Yes. Onwards so, and upwards. Yes. Uh, so yeah, check out our original music. Go to check out our, our playlist for band made reactions. Go check out our playlist for the original music we do. Uh, we don't have any current shows booked at Yet. the moment, but we will soon. Go and follow we'll us on Instagram. And we're working on it. We're working on getting different shows in yep. different places. And we're also on Facebook, so check us out on one of those two platforms if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting. Let us know what you want to see in the next one, and we will see you then. Take care. See ya.